2021. How are you all doing? This is your girl, Shan. I hope you all had a nice, relaxing weekend because we know that we are preparing for that good old Thanksgiving on Thursday. I don't know how many of y'all have already started cooking, but ooh, I'm excited to eat. I've never been more excited in my life. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me on this morning. Marriage Morning with the Queen. A marriage Morning with the Queen. I just wanted to remind you all, hey, Cousin Kim, I just wanted to remind you all that the show is coming on tonight. So, and our topic is going to be putting in work on KRGN 98.5. We have it pinned to the top of this page, how you can listen from all around the world. Good morning, Tasha. Good morning, Simone. That's my group now. Um, from all around the world. Today's topic, the power of a praying wife. Today's topic is the power of a praying wife. Since this show have started, ran into people married, single, just the testimonies have truly been a blessing. And, you know, me and my husband thank and praise God for the things that he is doing because that is our prayer that we got to keep our marriages tight and right. You know, some of the things that said people don't want to hear it, you know, like I always say, people don't want to always know their nastiness. But if you want to get out of the situation and the circumstance that you're in, Sometimes you got to just swallow the whole row and be like, hey, this is me and what can I do to change it? So the power of a praying wife. I'm going to talk about a friend real quick um, before we get started. I'm going to talk about a friend. And I remember we were going to church in Tennessee and we were friends with this awesome young lady. She would do anything for you husband was really cool he didn't come to church though he didn't go to church and you know but we ain't judge we want them type of people because i mean you know we don't have a heaven or hell that we could put anybody in um and so i remember having a conversation with her and you know we would ask from time to time hey you know i'm gonna say this name um is your husband coming to church uh whatever the case may be and she's like no and so i asked her i said well how do you handle that because her and her children would always be in church. Her children sung in the youth choir, everything like that. And I remember having this conversation and she was saying, you know what I do? I, I said, what? She said, I don't get angry because my husband don't come, you know, to church. She said, I love him anyway. And I said, okay. She said, every Sunday I get up and I lay out his suit. I lay out his shirt. I lay out his tie, his shoes the whole outfit, and I'll just lay it out on the bed, and I do that every Sunday. Me and the kids will go ahead and get ready for church. She said, and then and when I see that he's still sitting there, that lets me know he's not going. She said, but I don't get upset. I just give him a kiss, and I say, baby, you have a good day, and you know we'll see you when we get back from church. She said, and when she come back from church, because she had already prepared Sunday dinner, she would take his suit, she would hang it back up, put his shoes back in the closet, and she would do this Sunday after Sunday after Sunday. Well, one particular Sunday, we were in church. Her and the kids went ahead and they came on to church like they always do. The pastor was about to get ready to get up to preach. Them doors opened and her husband walked through that church. Okay, when I tell you, we told that church up in the name of Jesus because of her not um, going in on her husband, going off because you supposed to be the man, you supposed to be the head, you supposed to be the one that's taking us to church. She just loved her husband. The power of a praying wife. I've mentioned this before, but we do not understand. First of all, as Christians, we do not understand that we are God's child. We don't have to get into it with ignorant folks. We don't have to wrestle with demons because the world tells us that the things that we go through, the principalities, we don't have to, it's, it's a spiritual warfare. All we have to do is pray to our father. But see, what we tend to often do as wives, and you know, I had a wife, you know, it's kind of funny. She kind of got a little uh, uh, um, bothered by some of the things that I said, but guess what? It's an iron sharpened iron situation and I'm EEO up in here. I'll go in on the men, the husbands, and I'll go in on the wife if that's what God tell me to do. It's just like when you go to a, a, a plated dinner, you know, you might like the chicken, but you might not like those mixed vegetables. But guess what? You take that which will be nourishing to your soul, that which will be nourishing to your spirit and everything. Yes, you let it go ahead and go by if it doesn't apply to you. Now, getting back to this, the power of the praying wife. As Christians, like I said, God is our father. 
So I've come to the maturity of knowing I don't have to argue with foolishness. What I need to do is recognize the tricks of the enemy. That's why so much marriage end up in divorce. Going back to that praying wife. I said it before. Now check it. Huh, baby. When everybody leave up at that house, see a woman. We know when the spirit of our home is not feeling right. It's kind of like, uh, you know, they say that good old woman's intuition. Some just crawl up your spine. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute now. Some ain't right. That's just like when you know your kids is out somewhere doing something that they don't have any business doing. Yeah, uh-huh. We have that same intuition. So when everybody leave up at that house, baby, when I tell you we have the power to pray every spirit that is not of God up at our house to touch and anoint our house. Yes, our husbands have that same power. But women, and I'm going to say it again, and some of y'all heard this before. If somebody come into your house, okay, we got Thanksgiving coming up this week. You got people that you invited over to your house and somebody come up in your house and your house is nasty. What they going to say? Oh, they're not going to say, oh, yeah, ooh, Kenya, mm -mm, he keep his house nasty. No, the first person it's going to go to is a woman, especially if you in the South. I don't know about the North. I ain't never lived in the North, but I know how we operate in the South. It's going to be that woman. Oh, shit, show sure keep that house nasty. That's the same thing about spiritually. We need to keep our house spiritually clean. We need to know we don't have to argue with those spirits that are trying to attack our children, but it's our responsibility to pray and cover them. We need to know and have that faith that whatever we pray and release into the atmosphere and that whatever we speak, baby, we need to know that that thing will not return to us void. We need to know that if we're lining up as wives, and we're really seeking God. And how can I tell you this? Trust and believe. Shan went through this. You hear me? Even with my nasty self, like I said, God showed me me. But baby, when at my house wasn't right, okay, wait a minute. These kids acting a fool. Me and Kenya get into it. We arguing. God, uh, oh, the, oh, I already know. It's time for war up in that house. You hear me? Spiritual warfare. Baby, as soon as everybody leave up out of there, honey. I get that anointing on, you better ask somebody. I'm tapping them walls, bow. I'm tapping that door, bow. God, any spirit that is not of you, do not even allow it to come into my home. Because when you know your home is peaceful, and then all of a sudden it's a disturbance. The first thing, one thing, who then came up in this house that they spirit went right? No, it ain't that. We need to go on ahead and pray that thing up out of there. When it comes to the disagreement and the arguments that we may have with our husbands and husbands, it's the same thing with the wife. Quit popping off at the mouth. How can I tell you that? Because she used to do it, baby. The dirty dozens didn't have nothing on me. You hear me? Oh, you want to talk about something? You want to bring up the past? Hint, hint. Does that sound familiar to somebody? Oh, you want to bring up some old stuff? But you know what? I've learned to just, hmm, just hush it up. Okay. And guess what? Sometimes when you can't talk to nobody about what's going on in your marriage because you're too worried about people going to judge you and everything like that, take that thing to the Lord in prayer. You hear me? Because I've learned to just, baby, when I tell you me and Mr. King's marriage is so awesome. And when I think back on the things that me and Mr. King went through, when I think back on all the furniture that got broke up in a house and motorcycle helmets and lamps and cell phones and everything like that. See, people are thinking thinking on this week, and this is what our pastor was saying yesterday. Why does it take the week of Thanksgiving for people to be thankful? Okay, when I pray, I don't automatically go to, oh, God, I need you to do this, Lord. God, would you do that? No, I'm saying, dear God, thank you so much for waking us up on this morning. Dear God, thank you for covering me and my family. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. That's what I'm saying. That's how I come to the Father when I pray. You know, I know y'all like, Shan, why are you breaking it down like that? Because some people need examples. They told me that I like when you provide them examples because it give me an idea of which way I need to go. So, Father, I thank you. God, I thank you. It don't always have to be a Thanksgiving that we thank God. You see what I'm saying? But women... Know that power that we possess. Baby, don't go down that road. When that road is taking a left and you almost... To, I don't care if you about to put that ink on the divorce paperwork. Baby, you better go into prayer. You hear me? Because if you don't believe nothing else, whether you go to church, you go, don't go to church, you say the not, you don't know how to talk to God, talk to God like I'm talking to you. That's what I always tell people. You don't have to get into this deep reverential, uh, uh, praying down to heavens type prayer. No. 
you go to war spiritually in your home, okay? Hubby, come home acting a fool. I done told y'all Mr. King that got up in our black Lincoln LS when we used to have it. That joker was straight greasy up in her. Oh, them spirits got to go in the name of Jesus and they went. You hear me? So we need to know the power that we possess. Not only the power, we need to speak that life out of our mouth. I don't care what husband is speaking. I don't care how crazy them kids is acting. We have the power to change things in our home. Our husbands, yes, are the providers. God has placed a great deal of responsibility on them but we are supposed to be those types of wives that we hold the arms up and for our singles yes think about this for the future i'm not leaving you out if you're the type of person like i said that you always hot head uh-uh baby uh-uh 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 i'ma need you <laughs> to go ahead and start practicing now practice with some of your co-workers when they make you mad they talking all that negativity it's a monday morning you come in with a good mood because you've been bumping to some jesus music and all of a sudden they acting a nut and you don't want to hear that practice now use that to practice on you know what i'm saying and i don't care if you gotta start praying out loud god in the name of jesus god you know i did not come in this morning to this workplace heavenly father to hear all that negativity i pray that you just bind that thing right now in the name of jesus dear god allow your spirit to show up in jesus name that be looking like did that nut just pray against me i sure did if you gonna say something out your mouth instead of a quick snap back get to praying but ladies we have power christians we have power there is power in the name of jesus there is power in the blood and there is power in that good old oil when you go around slapping it so if spirits ain't right and you got people coming over for thanksgiving dinner i'm gonna need you to find some time wives yeah i'm talking to us i ain't talking to the husband right now because sometimes you can't talk to the husband if you're not a husband so that's what my husband's job is i'm talking to the wives we need to go ahead and get that house spiritually prepared for those who may be coming over Okay, we have that power. Keep that in mind. We can change the situations if we go before prayer. And I'm telling you, you'll be surprised when your husband's like, I remember we used to go through this and this and this, and now we're going through this. And you and you don't have to sit there and say, that's because I prayed. I did that. I. No, it ain't about I. It is not about us. Just say, praise God. Glory be to God. If you notice me, anytime somebody say something or comment or anything, I don't say, oh, that's because I was thinking about that last night. I said, no. Praise God, sister. Uh, uh, glory be to God that it uplifted you. Quit trying to take the credit for everything and give God the credit. That's probably why some of the marriages are in the situations that they're in now. I'm just saying, I know a little deep for a Monday, right? But guess what? I only got Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday that I'm going to do this live because, you know, I'm going to let everybody have your, your little time with your family, you know, unless God put it on my heart otherwise. But I need y'all to do this because I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. This is just a little something to marinate on that God gave me the last couple of days that I thought was awesome. Please, tonight, I'm going to send y'all a reminder for my personal page. Check in on the show tonight. I thank y'all so much for y'all support. God be with y'all. Y'all have a blessed day. Don't let anybody steal your joy. Don't let anybody steal your joy and share because it's free. I love y'all and God bless y'all.